7 of my 2022 Christmas Village full tutorial series. I think uh, the time has come to worthily celebrate the first Victorian writer novelist. <laughs> what does this mean? This means that uh, the entire part 7 will be dedicated to the completion of that water feature. <laughs> And it's not a simple matter of putting in the middle what is still missing and say voilà c'est fait, au revoir à la prochaine, but it still needs 20 to 25 hours of work, starting from priming and painting the fences, the lamps, the, the steps, the pavement, then working on the inside with the pump to be fixed, the plumbing, getting the water on top of the gigantic feature that will be in the middle, and there, and then something more. Uh, so a very exaggerated amount of time, but I will try also to proceed a little more with the gigantic building in the back there. I will not tell you anything, especially why I decided to start with this uh, novelist here, but I think it will be clear by the end of part 7 of this part and I will not reveal the, the novelist nor the book that has inspired me to do this water feature. Um, it's up to you to figure them out, uh, maybe I will tell them to you in part 8, but it's, it will be obvious and what is, what is missing in the middle there, I will not reveal it in the last minutes. I'm not that bad. I will work on it all along this part 7, so in the very next few minutes you will discover what I added to you for so many um, months. <laughs> Be aware, it may shock you. Uh, guys, so maybe you will decide to unsubscribe from this channel, up to you, guys. I don't know. I'm, I'm still uh, trembling a little uh, because I don't know what will be the impression that this water feature will be uh, making on you once it will be complete and I will test it by the end of this part 7. Uh, maybe it's time to get to work. And I will start from here, guys. Uh, this is the same container, the same food container I've shown you in past videos, and that this will be the container of the water for my water future. Off camera, I simply added some styrofoam supports for something that needs to be placed at this level here, but in the next many hours simply 3.6 cm of 8 uh, at 1.6, between 1.6 and 1.7 cm from the border here. And as I uh, already told you, I added and glued there uh, some support for the, for some retention for the pump that will be placed in this core. You may have noticed that this is not super glue, guys. All along this uh, part, I will be using some new type of glue, at least for you guys. I haven't shown you um, this uh, glue um, before, but I generally use also this glue for other purposes. And this is absolutely not good with super glue. This has been glued with epoxy. And glue. Yes, you are telling me epoxy glue, difficult to use, very long to set. Guys, these two components, once mixed, will cure in five minutes. You need to work very, very quickly and mix the two components, component A and component B, then mix them for 
a little less than one minute and then you have just a four minutes to apply the glue on top of what you want and then glue it together before the reaction is, is at its maximum level with the maximum uh, emanation of heat this, uh, mixing these two uh, components will make an exothermic reaction so it uh, it sent outside some heat the exothermic something thermic X out of okay a B epoxy glue uh, normally you have some epoxy that with A and B that will take 20 30 45 minutes to cure to set this takes only five minutes and it is a mix you need to mix them one to one so one volume of A and one volume of B this said uh, this is uh, uh, an Italian glue but uh, you can find the same thing on Amazon I think everywhere in the world just be sure that this is not really a, a resin it is called a glue because resin will take much more time uh, but it's anyway some resin okay so it is called epoxy glue and I use this mix here to glue every part you have seen here to the food container okay so very stable then then you see here a big circle with front and two hours pointing the direction of the front because I needed this to be always in the same direction this is some reference for what I am about to show you guys very dramatic guys I'm trembling and just uh, maybe some dramatic music yes right now sorry guys I'm, I'm joking let me check the camera good no problem at all the camera is taking everything not like last video sorry for that guys and now let me remove this what will be in there something cylindrical no this is just the base guys i will bring to the scene gigantic i know let me show you there like that gigantic let's talk about feet maybe i will show you also from this side i have a water i have uh, ocean a uh, sea uh, sorry it is a little wet i washed it recently uh, i will not tell you what this is no even this one it is clear i will not name them otherwise you will immediately get what it is representing guys this took seven days and seven nights to print at maximum quality with the filament printer so non-stop printing for seven days and seven nights the longest 3D printing I ever done, and this was very particular uh, to set then three days to paint, then then this will be submerged at least the base, and then also having water all around. This will have water, so the. Uh, acrylic color will have will have been um, they would have washed out by the water and you see that this is very gloss because first i want uh, this as to be as wet as possible so wet so gloss and then this will protect the painting from the water Uh, I generally use some V3 glue, many layers of V3 glue to protect every of my uh, painting while, while they are, um, 
when I want them submerged in water. I did this in my 2020 uh, village, yes, when I had a, a river and the river was painted, then three or four layers or of V3 white glue. It is a, a polyvinylic glue, the same I use, but it is V3. Okay, guys, I have here a sample. This is a D3 glue, D3 plus glue, PVC white glue, but this is water resistant. So three layers. I generally do three layers of it. But in this case, it will be risky to not protect it any further. So I also use some protectors, some lacquer, some uh, um, spray, three layers, one each week. So this, I did this many months ago. This is one of the first printing I've done thinking about the new project. So this was maybe February, March. Yeah, or February or March. And after having painted it, I protected it with a spray, a lacquer, a synthetic lacquer, not water-based, but synthetic one. Three layers, each separated by one week of drying time. Firstly, because it was a still winter and northern, northern Italy is very cold in winter. Second, because I wanted it to be sure. Uh, that's the reason why I have some water. I retested it uh, this morning, uh, submerging it for um, two hours in water and the painting is still there. No problem at all with this lacquer. So this is a protector, it has a glossy effect and it is protected. Then the base, this was a little too uh, uh, disproportionate, so it tended to go that way because the base, uh, <laughs> I went with a very small base, so it tended to go to uh, to uh, fall down from one side. So what I did there, I had two flanges, those are hydraulic flanges, one and two, different diameter. I glued two of these flanges together and you will see inside that you have this epoxy glue I've shown you, I've used this epoxy glue, to glue the, them together. And then the same glue to glue the print to the flanges, okay, uh, to the flanges. The result is this little baby here that will go in here, maybe oriented like this. I know uh, you are shocked guys, but this is my first citation, one of the three or four timid section for this 2022 section. This is a book from an European Victorian era, a novelist. This book here, this scene here, okay? Now, now guys, I need the water to, uh, to get at a certain age, maybe I was thinking here some water and then some other water here and then maybe from this point here down. I want the water to spread uh, on top of this. This need to be wet, not a very high flow of water, just some water flowing down very, very uh, silently. This needs to be an attraction, a water attraction, <laughs> and you will see it once it's completed. Uh, I will use, you know, this little very flexible tube pipe here, and uh, let's change for a moment the scenario. I will take it. 
and here I have oops, oops, sorry, <laughs> I almost uh, did a mess okay, here I have a testing container guys, this is uh, one of the containers I used I think last season or uh, in 2020 uh, as a container for my uh, waterfall, no, this was in 2020, yes. Little test with the tube here, the pipe and the everything else. If I go inside the water like this, okay, then I have the pump here and I will switch on. Okay, pump goes live. And maybe in some way I want the water in here. This is possible, guys, and you see that the water will flow in here along this section here, and you have the water flowing. But it's not natural to have a pipe like that. I had to find a solution and my solution guys was to print out sorry the noisy right, right now those guys here I have uh, different ones those are the final part of the tentacles guys you can see there the tentacles but instead of being filled inside this is a plane inside, you have the infill to get it resistant and mechanical resistant. Inside you can see, hope you can see that they are empty. So I over them. It's like having a shell and inside it is empty. Good, it is empty. So this may be having a tentacle, having there, arriving there and then with the water coming out from the, uh, the tentacle is a little more uh, realistic and natural. So you can see that this is really a tentacle and shape and I will use them like this guys. I hope to have printed them the right dimension, yes. So I will have them like that. I will use some epoxy glue to seal uh, the connection between the two of them. But hey, the water fill in, but I have no holes for the water to come out, guys. No holes at all. So I need to make holes, otherwise this will just be a cap preventing the water to come out from this tube here this pipe here. So let me switch off the pump for a moment. Uh, one other thing, the flow, the water flow will go this way here. So if I do the holes there, not natural flowing, uh, always do the holes going in the same direction of the water flow. Good. Now, what will I use? I use my hand drill here and let me do a little hole in here. Let me do a little hole, let me go this way. Yes, now the water can come out. Let me do another one. No, let me check firstly uh, the result in here with just a simple hole going this way, the same direction of the water flow that will be coming out. I will place the tentacle in here. Let's say I will place it right there. And the pump. Okay, 
let me see this will go in there painted in red etc not flowing uh, just a hole isn't enough so I will switch off here Okay guys, you can see that now the water is flowing correctly and this will be practically impossible to, to see that this is not natural, but, but this will be painted, I will paint it in the same, with the same color, with the same red I have in here. And this will be one side of the water flowing down, okay? I will prepare uh, each of them. Uh, the other one maybe I will go this way, but I will need to make the holes differently, otherwise the water won't go this way, this way, like that, okay? And the third one, I will decide from where to get water for the third one. I will go this way, then I will have a recap, then I will start gluing everything together. Okay. Okay guys, I will do the exact same thing for the other ones, 
I needed to proceed in this way in order to, to glue it correctly. Otherwise, if I don't use the water to check where the flows go, where the water flows go, I least to have water getting where I don't want it to go. I will go the same way. This one is starting to, to cure right now. I will do the same thing for the other two, then I will proceed and I will update with you. Well, it is one and a half hour later and now the three sources of water, one, two and three, are in place, two in the front, one in the back. Obviously the camera will get this view here, so the front view is the more important one. Let's have a look to the final result. Okay, so I wanted the max of water getting here in order to get down every single step is like if you have a series of steps here getting down. Then another in the front here, in the face here, on the face there. Sometimes I'm with the flow going to the right, sometimes to the left. It all depends on the flow minute by minute. And the contrast in the back there the water get in there. Obviously now we don't have a very powerful water flow due to the fact that the tubes, the pipes are too long. More the, the water has a distance to travel, less powerful will be when it comes out from the tentacles. Simply physics, guys. Uh, the, Power source is very far from the tentacles. So I will try to reduce the length of those pipes, uh, getting them cl as closer as possible and curving them to the, um, to the main structure, to the main 3D print, uh, gluing uh, some here and there, some at some points, gluing the pipes here and there at some point, very long time too, and then retest everything in this time in the real container right there. So let me dismantle everything, I simply need to remove the pump and everything, then dry out a little bit this little guy here and then start uh, gluing. I will do updates and fast forwards. See. Okay, I have removed every single tube from the pump here. You remember that when I did the first ex experiment with the pump, I used those two sticks there, that they are now in place. I can show you that if I want, I can place the zip ties and they go under this little segment here. So, I surely will not have the space for uh, getting two zip ties, but anyway, I will fix the pump in there, right there. And the pump is there. I don't care if it goes right on left turn. Important thing is that it doesn't come out. So this will fix the pump in there. Okay. So this will the back will be the back, and also, oops, still have some water dripping everywhere. And this, and let me check from the front, and this, I think, will be the position of everything, okay? Now, one by one, I will start from 
this one. Good, I'm at this point here. I've removed all those lines here from the original size of tubes. And now I have this situation here with the main one that goes in here, back behind the water and then here in the first split. Then from the first, the other split, it goes there and this one has the shortest, shortest sorry, uh, length uh, uh, of tubes, of pipes, and this one goes in here. Now, let's check it, let's test it, then obviously I will need to glue the base at some point, but for now, let me check the result. I risk to spill the water all around because it's not very well in place, but I will get some water. Not enough. and I have water getting everywhere so now next steps guys next step will be painting red and blue the pipes and the tentacles here the tubes and the pentacle the tentacles sorry and then, and then, sincerely, I don't like this situation here. That's the reason of those super. I will cover here this surface here. I will cover it in some way. I'm still working on it. Ninety-nine uh, percent done, uh, and it will be difficult because I will need to cover the water but also allow the water to get under the, mm, I don't know, under the surface here that I want to put in here. Otherwise, I will have a, uh, the water uh, spilling everywhere. I will need something strange in order to uh, allow the water to continue the circulation okay so not bad here this is the main flow I like it it's like a mini a mini a waterfall in here so one water comes here two then plush then plush here then down and here too this one uh, it's just it, it, it's just giving a water effect to the face here okay 
and the other one too. Okay. So guys, uh, I will switch everything off, dry everything and start painting. See you. Well, let's go with some painting. I will mix two different red. Okay, I think I'm done. The red is almost identical to the one I used some months ago. Maybe a little lighter, but uh, I still need to use my lacquer to protect the uh, fleshy paint tentacles there. And the new tentacles have completely disappeared in all the figure. Uh, if uh, there wasn't this part, uh, seven year where I showed you that I added these tentacles here, those tentacles in order to have some water no one would have noticed it in this way um, the effect, this is still but this is very close so it, they will disappear even more when um, all the uh, lacquer is uh, done um okay that's it guys i think i will clean a little bit here the mess then use the lacquer uh, to protect everything maybe two layers of lacquer one yes i will do one here one now and one in an hour an hour and a half and then uh, i will continue in Let's say eight hours, I will wait everything to dry. And this is the result after eight hours of setting time, of drying time, and not for the painting, but for the two layers of uh, lacquer. Uh, now the uh, tentacles are uh, covered in red, almost the same, just a little tone lighter, and they are protected by the lacquer. Uh, I still have some water because I tested if the tentacles were not clo clogged by the uh, two layers of lacquer, but they are not, so the water is getting correctly uh, as previously. And how everything with the same color, uh, it doesn't have the impression that uh, those one, two, and three tentacles having. Uh, being added successively. Normally this little one here uh, has eight tentacles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but some of them are hided. So even if now they are eleven, you don't you don't have the impression that, that you have eight, eleven uh, tentacles. But I needed to test uh, so this is the period of time uh, between uh, the second layer and now. <laughs> but what I did in the beam time in those eight hours, I painted guys, not shown on camera simply because I used my airbrush. 
and if anyone use an airbrush knows that it vaporizes the uh, color, the paintings. It makes uh, clouds of dust. The same thing for the lacquer, by the way, it makes even more dusty clouds. Um, so uh, I will, I would have damaged the camera up there with my airbrush spraying everywhere the uh, color. Uh, the, the acrylic color because I painted the fences with acrylic color mixed with some water otherwise the acrylic is too dense and this made a dust of uh, vaporized, micronized, atomized if you prefer water and, um, and uh, acrylic colors but I use uh, the, uh, two layers of primer each time I'm waiting half an hour to uh, make them dry correctly, then three layers of blue, and then one layer, not a really a layer, but some uh, spray, because the um, airbrush spray, some spray here and there of uh, copper. I will show you the result uh, in the final recap, but guys, so half an hour, an hour, then three layers, it's half an hour, so eight hours um, airbrushing and waiting for the uh, each layer to dry out. This is the time passing, so I wasn't joking when I said that the completion of this water filter would have taken me uh, 20 to 25 hours complexly, uh, in the complex, not working 25 hours, but completing it. Now, let's proceed. This will be in the middle, like that. I still have the reference, somehow some reference. Okay. By the way, I don't want it to get away, so let me do. This way I reinforce the, the marking. This would be placed like this, I think. Still uh, need to do the support here, then completing it. Uh, the water will go everywhere. And this level here, that I have here, is under this point here. So I will not hide anything because this I don't want the pump to be visible and this too 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 bad to see. Uh, very uh, not a good looking aspect. I need to do something to uh, to get it a better looking aspect and then also hollowing the water to get from the tentacles back again in the container there. Not easy, not easy to do. Uh, let's experiment because I will experiment with you once I uh, all along this process. Let me remove this otherwise I can do something. Uh, let's hope the pump doesn't have, yes it does some water inside. So. Okay, now let's proceed.
Okay guys, um, this is not the solution because paper, even if very thick and water, don't, don't go well together. This is just a template. The paper is just a template. Okay, but this will cover it properly. Maybe I cut too much, but this is not very resistant. So guys, this is the template for what? For this. This is the version 2 of the fences I would have uh, choose for my water feature, but this is way too uh, little. I choose, wait a minute, the fences are like that, like this one here, okay? Allowing to see too. This is way more suited for the fences. This was too little. You can see my hand true. You will not see correctly my hand true because this is somehow uh, foggy. It, too, um, too little holes. But it will be suited for what I want to achieve here. Even the smallest um, hole here, uh, the smallest mesh, allow water to get through but I will not simply cover it like that. This will allow me to work on it, etc. to cover and then I will do something more. So this is what I will be using following that template to start covering. I know I am crazy, but let's see what I can achieve doing this.
good. Uh, this is like this. Uh, I need uh, urgently to find a solution to protect the border here and prevent it to damage the tubing or the or scratch the uh, the lacquer. Uh, this is very very dangerous and I need to find a solution right now and let me think for a moment on that okay I'm experimenting here guys you may have understood and I need to find solution while I'm working and proceed uh, dangerous. I will go with this solution here. Uh, I don't know if it works, but I could have cut uh, some of these pipes in the middle and then added them right there. Too, too, too thick, okay? And as they always did in the past. Uh, let's try to go differently. Okay guys, problem solved, I think this is an improvisation guys, but this is problem solving 101. Yes, it fits, but now no more scratching anywhere, okay? 101 guys now very difficult let me clean a little bit this mess i have here around then i will face another problem i need to fix this down there before proceeding with the rest and i need to find the correct angle the correct angle is the main focus problem here so let me clean a little bit Good, I did a little of cleaning and preparing there. Now, it is very dramatic because from this point on, I cannot go back if something goes wrong. I marked some holes in there. I marked those holes here. One, two, three, and four. The holes that need 
it's a little uh, different between the original position here. You can see here, notice there that the original position was more towards the right and more towards the back. But uh, with this mesh here done, with the mesh done, guys, I cannot go any way other than this way, okay? I need to fix this structure, let's call it this structure, on the bed, on the container. Otherwise, I cannot proceed this will constantly move around. And now guys, it's not the end guys, what is my solution for having it some more decent? Guys, I will go once again with this guys, silicone, crystal clear silicone and I, the, the, the big the big match here, the big challenge here is to let the water flow under the mesh without problems using some silicone that is a sealant, that is a water sealant. So I needed to be precise, I needed to work step by step, little step by little step and create some water I will use uh, much more um, colorant, much more uh, silicone pigment in order to avoid it to be crystal clear. I want it to be blue or green or white and I will go applying some silicone, making holes here and there in the silicone to let the water fly. I have the corner obviously but I need this to be uh, water, not waterproof, not water resistant but water permeable, okay? And I will work on it step by step, little step by little step. I will start and then yes i always add my little spoon in here to get some waves <clears throat> as i did on the uh, ocean on the um, sea bed under the uh, under the train okay i will work like that and this will be very long at least i think five hours guys at least five hours of work i will not feel the the, the container yet. I will test it with you once I finish. I'm risking a very big amount of work. I'm risking five months of work only on the 3D printing. One week of printing, then later. So, okay, you know what I'm risking here. But I will proceed. I'm not trembling that much right now. So, uh, 
let me prepare then the first batch then you know the first batch how I prepare the first batch uh, I'll prepare the batch then I will go applying the silicon starting I don't know maybe from the back and get and proceeding I know exactly where the water will go the water will go in here so that's the reason why I have this going down below so from top to down allowing the water to get here some of the water will come here and then the water will come from here but here I have the same thing I have the uh, a step a, a stepness okay uh, uh, it is very steep okay <laughs> sorry guys I wasn't finding my words it's steep so it goes down here it's more horizontal okay so let me prepare some uh, some silicone then I will proceed Five and a half, no, five twenty-five minutes later. Five hours and twenty-five minutes later. This is not uh, PVC glue. Uh, this is a mix of uh, silicone and white silicone pigment. And uh, I had to try this new technique uh, <laughs> to experiment this technique. So using a um, uh, a brush and consider these as a, a color uh, pigment or um, an acrylic color and going and painting there. Uh, I am frightened like now because I don't know if I did correctly my job to leave some space for the water to flow correctly under everything but guys this is some blue here, blue then blue and green degradation, then some green, light green and then dark green in the back there for our water being much more deeper here. Oops, I'm getting uh, messy. Uh, so this is the result. I will wait another, uh, let's say one hour, let's say one hour before testing everything with, with water and I will do it with you guys so this is my final touch on this uh, water feature here very heavy right now it is very heavy two cartridge of uh, silicon the the printing the two flanges this is very 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 happy Heavy. Uh, let's say uh, I still don't know if this will fit with the fences. Uh, I will try it with the fences uh, with you in uh, in the final recap. You will see the result with the fences. Let's continue with something else. I still need to wait one hour, but let's say two hours to this to set correctly. The giant building, guys, uh, we were here, I was here with the base and one side here and the other side here. Then, off camera, what I did, because it's simple cutting uh, as always, I did a back and a front here, but this front I don't like it like that. 
So what I did uh, else? You remember that uh, I use uh, 0.8 millimeters uh, um, PVC pipe, you know. Then what I did, I cut them in half to have a flat, an almost a flat. Um, let's see. Okay. like that and let's see if I can show you a new type of uh, columns okay half columns columns okay then here I have some gaskets okay big and and so uh, let me do uh, and then I also have something more for the base. Let me do something. Uh, this is too big, I think. No, it's they are all the same. Uh, let me cut them in half.
this guys is the front at least the beginning of the front of my new building new type of columns there with some uh, PVC pipes and I don't know uh, still way from being finished first level then I will have a second level and maybe a third level a three-story building I, I will add some more things here in the front and I don't know once painted this uh, I don't think will be that bad uh, I still need to think about the construction here if I place something in the front I won't be able to work on here so maybe I will complete the wall uh, I will paint it then I will add something more in the front for now this is where I stop the construction of my new big building and I will not reveal the name of it nor the type of the building still maybe you have figured out but I repeat this is not a church <laughs> well guys this is the most frightening moment of the entire season I think <laughs> I'm I'm very terrified right now I need to test this so all the silicone has cured you can see that it has all cured Let's fill it. Okay, guys, let's see what will happen. Okay, uh, here the water has come out, okay, here too, you have the water getting down there, and from the zone one also, and the water is going down here, okay. So guys, I'm checking the water level inside the, the container, and it's there. Uh, it's not uh, going down or up, so it is uh, well working, and I did my job correctly. Uh, the level is, sti is still there, so it works, and uh, that, this is the test I wanted. I'm no more trembling, guys. I don't know if you can see, but it works uh, without problems. The mini water for here, water here, then blush, then blush, then blush here, and then also from the back here. Good guys, this was the test I wanted. Uh, I think I will show you the result in my final recap, guys. Final recap of part 7, and as I am a very bad guy, I'm starting from the end, from that building, guys. Not yet a building. This is a work in progress, but with the uh, columns, the half columns on the front side, it's starting to get a decent look. You are wondering why I don't have a window there. If I have three windows there and tr just two windows there, it will be clear with the next part when I will add something in there. Uh, but this is the gigantic building guy I am <laughs> trying to complete and it will be placed there on the far, maybe on the fourth level. I don't know, but this is the overcome. So uh, the, the half columns there 
with PVC, half PVC pipe having a diameter of 0 0.8 centimeters or 8 millimeters and then two kind of gaskets uh, for the top and the same gaskets I used there from in the, in the bottom uh, repeated there cut in half with a support of 3 millimeters uh, 1.5 centimeters by 0 0.8 centimeters in depth and overall it is 6.3 centimeters from here to there it is 6.3 centimeters let me check with J there yes J it is taller than the building than the door but it's normal with these uh, buildings there with the um, with the scale I am doing and now guys yes I will switch there to the no not yet to the right and uh, I will show you the over the overall aspect of the first what a feature the first feature dedicated to the Victorian not to a Victorian novelist Victorian era novelist I will not reveal anything <laughs> just comment if you get it and the result is this guys from the distance then I will go even closer I have not switched on the uh, the water because you have seen all along this video that it is working but with the fences guys this is the look it has with the fences I also connected the uh, four uh, lamps the four slit lamps and uh, the wires will go under there and under the railroad in the corner there from the side guys there and inside uh, the water is not visible, the pump is not visible, just those two things there with water. And I, I tried to go with the same light blue I have here. Uh, I have tried to go with the same light blue for the water and some um, also some um, white water. But I tested it and you, you have seen that with the pigment and the silicone, the white and the colors will not be washed away. The fences, guys, what I did, I did, as I said, as I already told you, three layers of pale blue airbrushed. Yes, before that, uh, two layers or three layers, I don't remember, of primer then pale blue and then sparse here and there some copper to get the impression that this is metal pure steampunk time pure metal pure old damaged metal uh, the paint has gone the paint sorry has gone away and you can see the copper inside or something like that the color of the metal used to build this this little uh, fence is there and steampunk almost everything in steampunk was built uh, with a copper not entirely everything but let's say 90 percent of things were made out of uh, copper <laughs> were made supposedly because it is not real uh, the steampunk era but it is a common sense to build everything using copper and also pipes and etc. And maybe this is too thin, the plastic there is too thin, but I like them like that. And guys, I will show you the effect. I will switch off all the lights and you will see the effect in plain night. Coming guys, and in plain night, this is the effect guys. I've already told you that uh, I wanted the center of the, um, the feature illuminated by something on the 
second level but guys when someone walks in plain night it is visible from the distance and you can see everything maybe i can go closer but the street lamps even if i use the sum of foggy led uh, they are diffusing very well the light i don't have the cone the light cone i told you with the normal bright led those foggy lights were diffused very well the the light and everything is visible even even the main center but not too much but the water all around is visible even by night and this is this is proof that this is working and uh, maybe i will place another street lamp something different up there to get light on top of everything and with the water maybe next time i will show you with the water but i have difficulties to empty the container and to translate it there so uh, but it works guys you have seen it working uh, let's close this with I'm gonna switch on the lights once again and that's it guys uh, this is what I did for not a 25 but 27 hours i marked everything on a piece of paper guys 27 hours of work yes having uh, some uh, waiting time due to the drying of the silicon and uh, the uh, layers of uh, painting on the fences but guys this is a massive work to complete this has been a massive work to complete sorry if i don't you haven't seen me doing anything else but the first the first victorian novelist i think will be proud don't worry jay it will not hurt you in any ways are you shocked guys if i have to celebrate a novelist a victorian era novelist or a modern novelist why not going extreme? I know, this time my craziness may have hit a little too hard. But I hate being normal. The craziness is what motivated me with each and single one of these projects. Even in the common life, guys. Uh, and this is only the first section dedicated uh, to a novelist. What will happen with the second one, the third one, the fourth one, in a crescendo? I don't know yet. I'm not there yet. Maybe you judge this a complete waste of time because it is completely inappropriate to a Christmas village. But guys, this is a Christmas village. This is a Victorian Christmas village. This is a Lamax Christmas village, Limax Christmas village with buildings still not there. But this is also a steampunk Christmas village. And that feature there is completely in synchro with steampunk. One thing I forgot to tell you guys, uh, the shape the design of the street lamps, maybe now it is clear. Tentacles in the middle of the feature. Tentacles outside of the feature, ready to get caught by tentacles. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, but only if you wish, see you next time.